Welcome back to It Resolves and another standard event. Today's deck is Jeskai Reanimator. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. I hope your week is going really, really well. Unfortunately, so far for us, we have not gotten a single win on either of our two videos this week. So we're hoping to do a little better today with a deck created by MTG Joe over on Aetherhub. I will, of course, link his link to it. Uh, I did not see a video attached to it. So if I missed it, just somebody link it down below if you happen to know. Uh, I'll do some searching as well and see if I can find it. But uh, MTG Joe did do a really good job, I think, of putting this deck together, and so I didn't touch it. We're going to run it as is because I didn't want to mess with it too much. Uh, but the idea is pretty simple. We've got some really powerful things like Portal to Phyrexia. We've got Cityscape Leveler. Uh, we've got one with the Multiverse Sanctuary Warden, and uh, that's, yes, those are all the big payoffs. I just want to make sure. Uh, those are all the big payoffs. The way we're going to reanimate them is with Repair and Recharge. This will give us a way to pull one out from the graveyard and create a, papped, a tapped power stone token uh, now the rest of the deck is pretty focused on control as well as draw which is really really nice because uh, essentially this just kind of plays like a regular control deck um, you do have record or bank buster uh, for some draw with the faithful mending of course uh, fable of the mirror breaker does allow us to kind of loot our way through uh, as well and basically everything else is like negates for some control sunset revelry to kind of dig yourself back if you get too far behind uh, Brotherhood's End, which is a really nice way to just sweep the board for any early game threats, so this should be a very useful card for us. Uh, the Elder Dragon War, which again does a great job of sweeping the board of any, you know, two toughness creatures that may be sitting out there that we need to get rid of. It also discards and draws that many cards, so we can discard as many cards as we want from our hand and then draw that many. Uh, but it also just works as a nice little mid-game threat as well. It spits out a 4-4 flyer, uh, which is sometimes enough to at least pressure the opponent to get us to a point where we can reanimate something big. Uh, we do also have a single burn down the house here. This is going to be able to sweep for any bigger creatures uh, as well as planeswalkers and just create some 1-1 devil tokens as we need them. The Wandering Emperor is in here as I believe the full four, uh, which is just a crazy good card. We know how good this is. This is no surprise at all. And then a smattering of tech in the lands with the Ganjo uh, and Ottawara at the very least. So a very interesting deck and a very good deck. Uh, I've been playing this just on the ranked ladder to kind of get used to it, and I love it. So we're going to send it through a standard event, guys. We're going to have a blast with it. Let's jump right in. And here we are guys for game number one now this is not a good starting hand we have absolutely no enablers and everything we need to discard or reanimate i'm actually going to go ahead and mulligan this down and see what we get oh no this is terrible too uh oh gosh i ugh. i mean i guess we just keep and hope we draw into something i don't want to go down too far normally five is kind of the cutoff but we've got a good smattering of land so i feel like we should probably just keep and hope for the best. Uh, one thing I will say and just mention right now uh, for anybody that doesn't know, these events, we've been doing these a lot more just because it got, it gives like a solid end to the, uh, the video itself. So I feel like they're a little bit more reasonable in terms of, um, you know, not just like a timed limit, but there's an actual event to it. So I'm actually really enjoying that. Uh, I hope you guys are. The way these work is you try to get seven wins before you get three losses. Uh, whichever happens first is obviously what's actually going to go down. But um, I think we just throw the Wandering Emperor out here and start to pressure um, as best we can. Uh, I do anticipate they've got burn, obviously. But this does throw out at least a 2-2, and that'll give a, a little bit of pressure here. Excellent. So uh, let's make sure we go ahead and do this. Um, the reason I'm doing this and not spitting out another 2-2 is this is probably going to bait a burn spell, uh, which is perfect because we can then negate it. Uh, and now they will potentially at least have less that they can uh, burn it out with. Obviously, they did have an abrade. I'm sure they've got lightning strikes, something like that, to, to deal three. But we are going to try and make it as hard as we can. All right. Well, fair enough. They got it. Um, we do have burn down the house if we want it. Um... And we could honestly just reanimate the Wandering Emperor, uh, though I don't think we, we want to. I'm just going to go this route. We've drawn a handful of lands for sure, uh, which is not exactly ideal, but I will just keep pressuring as best we can. They can't activate this quite yet, so uh, if they want to burn something out here, that's fine. If they've got another sweeper, that's fine. 
Uh, it looks more like this is a big red deck and less of a aggro deck, obviously, uh, based on what they have played so far. So, kind of interesting. Very cool. That's a very, very good card, obviously. Um, and they're not gonna attack. Interesting. Uh, very good card. Um, I actually did not even realize how good that is. That's awesome. Um, cool. We are going to attack because we can shoot down all of these if we'd like, uh, which is fine by me. We can also... I don't really think we care to keep any of these around, though, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do this. They're each gonna ping down. This is a kind of silly trade, but it works out really well. Um, there we go. Easy enough. Um, and I will actually repair and recharge for the Wandering Emperor. I'm not sure that this is necessarily the correct play, uh, but truthfully, I think we just have to keep the pressure up as best we can and kind of hope for the best. Uh, but very, very good. It's an awesome card. All right, cool. I hate that, but that's a very solid play. Uh, cool. Hmm. All right, uh, well, first things first, obviously we just attack pretty straightforward and I think that's it I think we just pass we've got Iganjo here uh, to, to help deal with anything that does come down but I'm assuming they're just gonna remove this and kind of pass um, they get so much out of the uh, the visions of Phyrexia here such a good card by the way for big red oh my goodness it's amazing um, portal to Phyrexia all right one two three four five six seven eight yes hundred percent just gonna run this out there and make this a little tricky for them uh, so obviously that gets that off the battlefield which is great uh, it does allow us to then pull back some creatures as well which fortunately at the moment we don't have any but we can start to kind of steal some stuff and then brotherhood's end obviously does deal with a lot of what they're doing uh, in terms of these smaller creatures now reckoner bankbuster i'm worried about what they could have down the line uh, for obvious reasons <laughs> but we do get a nice little 4-4 here. I will take it. Um, yeah. I think we throw it out. Ugh, hair in my mouth. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, let's get in for 5 here. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. So now, even if they kill this, we just kind of get, get it back, I think. Like, kind of straightforward. We do have to keep in mind they have the Mishra's Foundry. Uh, so there is a world where they're able to, um, you know, double block or do something like that to kill this, but we'll see. Okay, cool. Interesting, they did not kill the uh, skitter beam, but I guess we just get it back, right? So that's not really all that helpful. Uh, and they're also not leaving mana open for the foundry, so that's pretty important for us to realize too. Okay, uh, sick. Um, I'm just gonna attack and see if they block. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Still does have tramples, so like that's a that's an easy one. Excellent. So I mean, they're within lethal range. Uh, they do have a circuit mender here, which is annoying, but we can deal with that. Uh, the fact that this has trample is so sick. It just helps us out a lot. I do hate they gain some life here, uh, but again, like long term with the portal to phyrexia down like it's gonna be a little tricky for them to be able to fight through this now they do have a braids in their deck we know they've got a braids in their deck uh and so there is absolutely a world where they just demolish the portal and in which case we kind of have to hope for the best um now we do also have brotherhood's end which might be worthwhile just to smack down all of these artifacts right um in fact that would just kill every artifact on their side of the field so maybe <laughs> maybe that's the move uh that seems quite good yeah play it out please play it out uh excellent that means they're tapped down so they don't have mistress foundry available so that's just great as well land swag all right so let's do this that's a pretty big play to be able to get rid of all of these in kind of one shot uh, I guess they can still... Okay. They're not going to. That's interesting. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we just straight up attack. Uh, we just 
basically like five for one or something like that. I mean, I guess we lost one of our things, but like, <laughs> that's fine. Um, and they now have a circuit mender in the graveyard, which does count as a creature for us. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Um, naturally though, I mean, it looks like they're gonna have some things to play. They can just kill the the uh, skitter beam battalion if they would like, which is probably the best bet. Sure. Um, dealing five to this seems pretty important, uh, just because otherwise I think they just die. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so far. Uh, we actually could just draw the, uh, oh, I forget, the one that spits out a 4-4 dragon. If we just drew that, uh, technically we could just play it, deal two to everything, including the opponent, and win, <laughs> uh, which doesn't seem too bad. Uh, let's make sure we draw that. Phenomenal. Gain a little bit of life. I will always take that. Okay, um, so what are we most worried about? I think we just attack. I'm not going to Brotherhood's ends until we know we are like kind of in the clear. Uh, they can obviously block here and in fact double block like they're going to and that's totally fine. Um, but they are still going to take one. Uh, and we do actually take out both of these, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and take out the foundry first. All right, so we deal one. Uh, now we've got two creatures as well, which just means they I have to sweep or be able to burn both. Um, they do get quite a few draws here, though, so worth noting that I'm sure they will have some answers. The good thing about this, though, is truthfully, like, a braid killing portal kind of isn't the end of the world right now. Like, uh, there's nothing really in the graveyard for us to pull back anyway. Um, and we've been reanimating their graveyard much more than we've been reanimating our own. Now this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Uh, they are going to be able to cityscape leveler here. That's awful. Uh, albeit, I think we just win anyway because we just attack for with both of these and they can only block one. Yeah, so we still win. Awesome, that was a really interesting game actually. My goodness, that was a fun one. Big Red, I haven't played against Big Red in a while. That was awesome, starting off with a win, already breaking the losing streak from the last two days. Feel so much better about that. Uh, let's go ahead guys, let's jump into game two. Let's see if we can get another win. All right guys, and here we are for game number two. And yeah, I mean, I think we can keep this. It's not super exciting, right? Like there's not too much going on, but we do have a faithful mending to hopefully fill the graveyard. We've got the repair and re recharge, excuse me, as well as just some really nice little, you know, reasonable cards. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. Uh, we Looks like we're against red again, but a very different style red. I'm assuming just straight up mono red aggro, uh, which is perfectly fine. We've got We've got answers for mono red, so I will hopefully be able to deal with this pretty reasonably. Uh, Faithful Mending also just good because it does gain us life, so there is the little added benefit there. Um, yeah, I think we just go here, and I think I'm just going to pass. I like to leave up the negate in case they have something here, and if they don't, we just get Faithful Mending down, right? So it's not the end of the world at all, no matter what happens. Uh, it looks to me like they're not going to run anything out too crazy, so we pass, take it, see what happens. Sure. Uh, would love a Brotherhood's End right now. That would be probably the best possible thing we could have. Um... I think we are just going to Faithful Mending. Uh, as unexciting as this is in general, uh, I do think it's just going to be the best option for us. Um, I think we get rid of this, a Dark R Waste. Add a car Waste? Dark R Waste? I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens. Another portal. Uh, okay, so, I mean, I think the move is just going to be Sunset Revelry. I think that's probably our best bet. It gains us a little life. It gives us some blockers, uh, which I think in this case is really what we need. We do need to get another Faithful Mending down, of course, but uh, I think this is just kind of the best of a bad situation. We may lose right away. Uh, again, if we get a Brotherhood's End, like, we're not in terrible shape. Uh, but as of, as of right this second, we are not in great shape. Uh, so, we'll see what they've got. I'm assuming... Okay, they're just gonna burn us, which... 
Unfortunately, it does trigger everything. That also gets the infantry out of Brotherhood's end uh, range, which is pretty awful. Um, not good, guys. Not good. Uh, okay, so... I think we're just dead, right? Like, there's not a lot we can do at this point. Yeah, we're just dead. Fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and good game them. They got us. Nothing much we can do. Let's go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, we just didn't draw the right card. I think if we had drawn a Brotherhood's End a turn ago, we would have been, like, in a really good position because they had no cards in hand. But I think that's often how, you know, a mono-red aggro deck, that's what you expect. So, we are 1-1 one and one right now. At the very least, we've still got one win. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, yeah, I can keep this. Not great, but it's not terrible. Let's go ahead and get the Storm Carved Coast down. We'll play the Waste this upcoming turn. Uh, and then we actually have quite a bit uh, in terms of, you know, Wandering Emperor coming down. We do have a Cityscape Leveler later on, so that's quite nice. Um, I'm just going to negate this. I think at this, uh, that might have been a bit aggressive, but I feel like it's fine. Uh, I kind of just don't want them to, to have a lot of card draw. Um, we do have Brotherhood's End, which takes care of things like Reckoner Bankbuster, but obviously not in our hand at the moment, so it feels important to remove threats like that. Not threats, but you know what I mean. Uh, cool, let's, let's ditch both of those. Uh, and technically, we're not far away from being able to um, do quite a bit. Uh, if we draw... Uh, repair, we can just kind of bring back a leveler, and then, I mean, it's kind of up to them to have something good. We do have Wandering Emperor this turn. We also just have Portal to Phyrexia, which might just be the better play, uh, as it's harder to deal with and it's repeatable. All things are, all things considered, that's probably better long term. Uh, sure. Okay. Nice. Uh, that's really annoying. Um, but yeah, sure. Not a lot we can do. Uh, so they exile that from our graveyard, obviously, so that way we can't reanimate it. Uh, and it looks like we are just Grixis control is the, is the play from the opponent here, so. Uh, let's go ahead and Wandering Emperor. Alright. Spit out a little 2-2, two -two, and if they have a removal spell, that's fine. Um, alright, sick. Let's do this. Um... I'm not going to overthink this, I'm just going to take the opportunity and get the portal down, and then if they can't deal with it, they are in bad shape, uh, is basically all I care about. Alright, let's go ahead, plus up. We do know they've got Brotherhood's End here, we saw them discard that, so it's more important, I think, for us to plus up. Obviously, they had to cut down anyway, but uh, at the very least, the Wandering Emperor now has three on it, so it's a little bit harder to deal with, um, and we're just going to start stealing their stuff, so... Oh no, they did have the Abraid. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we still have a Wandering Emperor though, so like, meh, you know. Let's go ahead and throw out one of you. Uh, yeah. Do we toss Ottawara out there? I think we probably do. Um, we could draw a couple cards, but I kind of don't want to. I think I just want a Faithful Mending on their turn. Uh, they... Are they stuck on lands? No, they've been hitting lands. Uh, I think they may have, may have missed one. Um, Alright, well, that's terrible, but sure. Let's go ahead and draw a couple. Throw a couple back. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Cool. Yeah, you got it. Uh, hate that, but, like, it is what it is. Um, I'm just gonna do this so we can draw a couple, or draw a card, I guess. Uh, and hope for the best. At least that was a playable. Uh, <laughs> we kind of just needed a non-land there, so I'm glad we got it. Um, and now we can start kind of cycling through, uh, assuming the fable sticks. Uh, if they do deal with the goblin token, it's not the end of the world. I don't want them to, obviously, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, and let's see. So we've got two portals in the graveyard. A repair would be reasonable, just because it would mean we, we've got a bit more of a long-term play. Uh, but my assumption is that that's, you know, a little unlikely, but that's fine. Okay, so I did get a land. 
Interesting. Um, I actually do think I ditched both of these. That might be a bit aggressive. The fable was perfectly fine, but uh, yeah, that's better. Um, all right, so now we have options. I'm just gonna go straight sh uh, Sanctuary Warden. I think this is better. If they do have a counter, we can repair it next turn, right? So like, that's fine. So they're gonna casualty this out. I'm gonna decline. Wow, they must really not want this on the battlefield. That's helpful to know. Uh, we're able to get two damage in, get a treasure token. That's fine. Um, they probably just don't have a whole lot going on then. Uh, if they've got another um, Corpse Appraiser, yeah, that's gonna suck. Uh, but we can still repair a portal and get this off the field, so I'm not overly concerned. Um, and I think that's why Sanctuary Warden was probably the best play. As good as that card is, and definitely as game-ending as that card is, um, I think this is still the best. Nice. Wandering Emperor is not bad. Alright, um, yeah, I think we just go here. Got a lot of good options, but I definitely think it's just Portal. Uh, they have to sacrifice both of their creatures here, uh, which does allow us to get the attack in, which does open up the Wandering Emperor play. Uh, so to me, this is probably just the best bet. We also then just start to uh, steal stuff from their graveyard. Uh, given we don't have any creatures, it'll obviously be their creatures that we try to steal. If they have another abrade, they have another abrade. There's not much we can do about that. Huh. They totally do. Alright, cool. Uh, honestly, annoying. Eh. You know, like, they're not playing, like, crazy big stuff, so it's not like we were gonna steal anything all that exciting. But also, please don't steal our stuff, you know what I mean? Um, cool. I think we just let that happen, and then at the end of the turn, we Wandering Emperor. Yep. We'll auto pay. Totally fine. Um, they do have three mana available. They could have a make casualty here, uh, which would be a bit annoying. Or make disappear. I, I always say make casualty because of the casualty ability, uh, which is just kind of silly. Um, I'm going to sandbag the lands. We don't need to play it. Um, and unfortunately, now we're at a bit of a stalemate. Now, we do have pretty powerful cards, um, as do they, unfortunately. Uh, and so basically we just have to hope for the best. Faithful Mending, not bad. I will take it. That was garbage. <laughs> uh, so the question becomes... Yeah, I think we just Faithful Mending again. Oh my goodness. So many lands. Uh, I will 100% offer the trade. Uh, if they decide to block here, this is such a... like. The Reflection is such a better card than just the little goblin token. We've got the mana, right? Like, that's not a problem. What's a problem is them drawing or uh, copying stuff. That's terrible. Invoke Despair was probably the worst thing we could have seen that turn. Okay. Yep. Have to hope for the best. Oh, come on. Don't do me like this. Come on. We just need, like, one card to do anything. It doesn't even matter all that much what the card is. It just needs to be a playable card. Ugh. My luck, man. Nah, I, I can't complain too much. That's not fair. We have to stay positive, guys. Uh, but that does really suck. So now we're still in hopeful territory. We had like six lands on the top of our deck. They had another Evoke Despair. Ugh. Oh, no. If we lose because of this, I'm just going to be upset uh very very upset all right i mean i th think we actually don't run that out i think we just run the land out i think we wait because this is about to flip uh and so i'd rather be able to deal with all of it at once and unfortunately have to take two damage to do it uh we're not gonna deck them they've got 20 cards in their deck and only 14 damage to deal for an Invoke Despair deck, that's, like, what, three cards? Um, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, they could suit this up. They're not going to. All right. Well, 19 cards to do. Uh, but I still don't anticipate us winning this game at this point. Like, I think we, we had too many turns of nothing but lands. We played two Faithful Mendings. Got four lands off the top. 
I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, this is actually kind of nice, because we are gonna get a nice little, potentially a three for one here. They do have two mana available, so make disappear, I guess, is a thing, but we can obviously pay for that, so that's fine. Uh, I'd almost rather... I'd like to be able to deal with all of their artifacts as well, but... Okay, that's fine. Oh my lord, how many of how many lands do we have? This is insane. We should not have this many lands coming up. That's kind of ridiculous. If they have a negate, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> they probably do. Yeah, go for it. They totally... I'm good gaming them. We drew so many lands. That's really... That's a bit of a rage quit. I don't know if we were dead yet. I didn't count it up, but we were close. Oh, that felt so bad. We just needed any playable, and we drew like six lands in a row. That sucks. We're one and two. Uh, still doing better than the last couple days, but we got to get another win, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, and here we are for our next game. Let's hope for the best. Uh, I am actually going to keep this. Obviously, we have no problem drawing lands, so we should be able to get to Wandering Emperor. Uh, and Brotherhood's End is always a nice little... Nice little added piece uh, to be able to deal with anything the opponent might be doing. It looks like a Azorius deck. Hmm. Okay, uh, swag. I'm just going to do this and pass. I don't think we need to run out. I mean, we could blow up the uh, Reckoner Bank Buster. That doesn't seem all that worth it, though. Yeah, all right, sick. We just pass. Uh, we've got a Wandering Emperor we can just kind of throw out there as we need to. Uh, I'm actually going to do it now. So the reason I'm doing this now is because they're tapped out, uh, which is actually really important for us to, to be playing around. Uh, assuming they're a control deck, they will have counters. And if they deal with this, we've got to repair. So this seems like the cleanest thing to do. Um, I'm assuming they have their own Wandering Emperor, potentially. Uh, so with that being the case, let's do this. Uh, I guess technically we should have done minus one if we thought they had a Wandering Emperor, but this does have Vigilance, so that's kind of fine. No, that was the right call. That was definitely the right call. Because now they can't just um, throw out a 2-2 with their own Wandering Emperor. Seems good. Cool. Um, I'm just going to try for a Fable, assuming it's going to get countered. I don't think we need to worry too much about this. Like, let them counter it if they want. Um... It would certainly be a good card to have on the field, just in general, but, like, I think that's cool. They might also just have, like, a depopulate, right? Um, wouldn't be too surprised. Looks like Memory Deluge. Cool. I haven't actually seen Memory Deluge in a while. Um, I mean, last week we played mostly Historic, uh, but this week has been all standard, and... I don't know, Memory Deluge is, like, a sick card, and I haven't seen it that often, so that's kind of odd. There it is. Figured we had a depopulate coming. All right, cool. Uh, yes, I will discard a couple cards. Um, maybe I'll just discard the one. Sunset Revelry. They definitely have more cards than we do. Um, let's play lands. Um, I'm gonna go here. I think we might just pass. Yeah, I, I think we just passed. I'm not really 100% on that, but um, I don't really think there's too much we can do anyway. I can just draw a card at some point here, which is quite nice. Really wish we had had that to discard. That would have been kind of sick. Um, yeah, so since we know they have sweepers, I'm just going to go for more damage and not worry about going wide, at least at this point. Um, burn down the house may be like a really sick play later on, though. Um, do we Sunset Revelry just to draw a card? I don't think so. Um, I mean, they have more life, or we have more life than they do, excuse me. Um, we would literally just draw a card. Like, that's, that's it. Uh, we could Brotherhood's End just to kill this, but I don't think that's worth it yet. Like, I kind of want them to do their thing and maybe we kill it afterwards. I don't know. Uh, it seems like this should be a saved card. Wow, another depopulate. Sure. Um, that's fine. I mean, we have the Wandering Emperor, so, like, they're not really doing all that much right now. 
Uh, if they kill the Wandering Emperor, that would also suck, but we have answers, right? So that's fine. Alright, let's try and Faithful Mending first here. I know this is instant speed, so we could technically do this at any time, but this seems fine. Um, what else do we discard here? I think it might just be you. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. We don't seem to be playing counters. At least not many. At the very, I mean, I would assume they have some, but like right now they're not doing too much. They do get the opportunity to pop off with the Reckoner Bank Buster this turn if they would like. This is kind of the optimal turn for the Bank Buster if they want to tap that out, but it looks like they're instead going to kill it, or the counter that, which is fine. Um, now they're going to go for it, which is totally cool, uh, because now we can Brotherhoods in to kill apparently three artifacts, uh, which is really good. <laughs> oh, perfect. Having that negate backup is such a flex, man. All right, so we're just gonna kill all these if we can. Uh, and I will 100% negate whatever counter they have. Uh, this seems really important for us to be able to deal with all of these in one shot. Uh, and so I will definitely go that route. At some point, we do need to consider going wide um, with the Wandering Emperor, but I don't wanna get it in range of their pilot to kill it. Uh, that doesn't seem optimal. So, we're just going to go here um, and very casually attack in for three. Uh, they can easily block if they want. That's fine. Uh, we do still have negate, which I will use here, actually. Uh, we could have, like, I guess, forced the issue a little bit and just held the negate. Um, but I think it's better to keep this on the battlefield and make them use something else. Um... Okay, well, Negate definitely would have been better against a fairy, but uh, we do actually have answers for this. Unfortunately, it's a burn down the house, so it does also kill our stuff, but we'll see. Okay, what do we have in the graveyard? Um, let's... Do we hope for... Well, we could Sunset Revelry and hope for a land also. That's not the worst play. Uh, if we get a land, we can still repair to be able to kill the Teferi. I'm just not gonna risk it. We're just gonna go for it. <laughs> uh, this is a lot safer. Um, in terms of, you know, they counter it, they counter it, but like we still have other things we can do. Um, now we know, as an example, that they can't actually do too much uh, in terms of, you know, surprise draw a card and be able to block. Uh, so I think we just attack. They can't double block now. Uh, which is great. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, they do draw a card, so this gets stronger. Um, and at some point, we do have to consider burn down the house as a viable option just to, unfortunately, kill off everything. Um, if we get another repair, that's not a bad play. Okay, sure. Uh, honestly, this is just really pushing me towards Sunset Revelry and burn down the house, so yeah. We just have to hope they don't have a counter, really. Please don't draw more cards. Please, please stop. Uh, they obviously can, and that would be terrible. Yep. Um, does this draw cards or put them into your hand? Definitely just puts them into your hand. All right, we just try for it, I think. Hope for the best. If they've got a card draw for two, that sucks. Uh, but if they've only got the lands like this, or these memory deluges, that doesn't do it. Uh, so I think this is just hoping for the best. They're gonna return that to their hand. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna bank buster them. Not gonna stress too much. We're running out of, uh, running out of steam here. We really need to get something good, but we're doing the best we can. I don't think we've played terribly. Uh, the the one major mistake might have been countering the Fading Hope. Uh, we weren't in a position where we necessarily needed to do that, but I was trying to keep the pressure up. My thoughts process for the record being that if they are countering, or excuse me, trying to bounce a token like that in a position where 
I don't know that you really needed to bounce the token. It felt like a situation where, okay, they probably don't have much to follow this up. Unfortunately, they did, but... All right, cool. Land, helpful. Um, let's draw. Another land, less helpful. Let's do this. <laughs> Just trying to get somewhere, really. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually gonna discard the two lands. That might be wrong, but I'm gonna do it. Um, only because if we draw any land, for, uh, Portal to Phyrexia becomes viable, and like, that's a pretty big swing, right? Like, that's, that's pretty solid. Yep. Do it. Um, so I think we actually have to double block here, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, we actually want them to only have three things on the battlefield, so if we can drop the portal, we just kill everything. Um, okay, well, we couldn't draw the portal, so that sucks. Uh, I think we just go for the leveler and hope for the best. I... Th oof, what do we kill here? I think it's the Wandering Emperor. Teferi's annoying, don't get me wrong. Um, but the the Wandering Emperor is the way they kill this, so, like, we kind of just need them to not be able to kill this. Um, and I'm not actually going to crew this. In case they have another Wandering Emperor in hand, that just so opens the door uh, for them to be able to do whatever they want. Alright, cool. We're playing very safe, I think. Um, but again, if we draw a land, Portal is, like, number one play right now. Yep. Obviously not a lot we're going to be able to do this turn, so we just kind of have to hope they don't kill us. Um, good news is we haven't seen much, like, permanent removal aside from the Wandering Emperor and, like, Depopulates and stuff, and we actually can get around Depopulates with the um, reanimation of the decks, so... Basically, we have to hope they don't go that route, but even if they do, they're killing three of their own things for one of ours, uh, which is, you know, not great. Um, if they just bounce it, that sucks. Oh, come on. They had a march. We'll just crew it. It allows us to block, so this is at the very least um, going to save a little damage. Unfortunately, these have Vigilance, which is, like, super annoying, right, for a Wandering Emperor deck. That's really solid. Um, but we'll see. Yep. Cool, cool. Um, I'm assuming they just attack with both of these, in which case I don't... I mean, I guess we block with the Bank Buster on the 4-4. Okay, well, now we don't. <laughs> Um, yeah. Only because then they just instant speed draw a card, and we don't have much we can do about it, right? Do we force them to draw a card, though? Um, because if they do, then they've only got one mana available. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do this. This is a little sketchy, I don't know that this is the right call, but I am gonna force the issue, because now we- they're not gonna have a one mana counter unless it's like a spell pierce, which would suck. Uh, but I'm trying to put them on only one counter and us drawing a land. Okay, well, we didn't draw either of the- we didn't draw anything useful, really. Uh, but <laughs> that's fine. Actually, timeout. Uh, that's very helpful. I really hate we had to play the Sunset Revelry to do this, but yes, 100%. Um, do we exile graveyards? No, right? Because we're the reanimator deck have to hope this helps us helps us last don't have a spell pierce please don't have a spell pierce that'll be the one card to really dampen the day all right cool i mean let's be clear this still isn't great they still have a teferi on the battlefield um but at the very least this buys us time and that's kind of all we can really hope for at the moment so <laughs> stop drawing wandering emperors all right cool whatever i mean we have to throw it out there and assume that they're going to counter it. No? Just going to Memory Deluge. Okay. And then maybe counter it. 
That's fine. Uh, at the very least, guys, this is a pretty solid game. Like, this has been a fun one. Uh, and if we go out with this, like, cool. I'm good with it. This has been a blast. Uh, and well played by the opponent, I must say. Um, they've done a great job of managing the board and everything, which is what you need to do, right? As the, the control player here. Um, I don't think we'll ever get to decking them, but obviously that's, you know, not off the radar. <laughs> It's not really on the radar either, but like, you know, I got 20 cards left, 21, we're at 31, so there is, there is a slim, slim possibility. They're not going to draw a card. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. I really hope they just attack the Wandering Emperor. They do. Oh, thank you. It's very helpful for you to have done that. Um, if they counter this, though, I'm still going to be annoyed. It's fine. Uh, we do have a portal, so, like, again, if we draw lands, we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, or we're not dead yet, so that's helpful. Cool. Not going to block, obviously. This does nothing. Um, Oh my lord, we cannot draw a land to save our lives. Okay. Now we can't draw lands. Like, what? What is this inconsistency? <laughs> um, and now we... <sighs> what a terrible place to be. Um, like, we can't discard it, can we? We need the lands, but we also need the portal. <laughs> Uh sucks. This really sucks, guys. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna minus. We're gonna spread this out a little bit, and I think we just pass. Alright, cool. Um, the only reason I'm doing that is obviously we're not gonna attack in. They have instant speed draw at any time, uh, and so it's really not worth it for us to risk them just drawing a card and being able to, you know, easy block. Uh, so... Here we go. Um, so we're just basically putting them on like they need a sweeper or something. All right, let's just faithful mending and see what happens. Look, there's all of our lands. I have to discard them. Like we need a land, but we need the portal first. Um, just doing that to see what we would draw, but it really doesn't matter at this point. Um, they've got two planeswalkers still. Yeah, all right. Sure. There's no way we win. They've got so many cards, like, they've got everything they need. Portal on its own is not going to help us, especially assuming that they've got counters, which, let's be honest, they've got counters. At this point in the game, if they don't have counters, I would be shocked. Absolutely shocked. Okay. Yeah, draw more. Why not? <sighs> I just... I just want to, like, win another event. We did great in Historic. We're doing really terrible in Standard. Um, I mean, that's fine, I guess. I'm gonna block because, I mean, let's be honest. Any of our outs are gonna require a Sweeper. Um, or, like, a Portal. In which case, we basically just have to hope for the best. Um, Sanctuary Warden's cool. Ten bucks says this gets countered. Yep. Wait for it. There it is. All right. Uh, yep. That's that's GG's, man. Uh, standard is not going well for us. Uh, we did get a win. Uh, but unfortunately, that is our third loss, which means we are just getting annihilated this week. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. We're here for a game, guys. We're here to have fun. We're here to learn. That was a very fun deck, I will say. Uh, I think that was our best deck this week. So thank you very much to MTG Joe. Thank you to all of you guys uh, as well for supporting the channel, watching the channel, hopefully having a good time along with me, despite all the losses. Uh, we did get one win, so good with that. 
Guys, thank you so much. I really hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Do make sure if you've got a deck suggestion or anything like that, just go ahead and send it in the comments or something. Uh, that way I can, I can see it and check it and hopefully run it in the next event. But guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one.